This time of year, it's a good idea to start chopping wood and prepare for winter. That's one thing I usually like to get done. As you can see by my pile over here, I have not done any of that. I have not prepared for winter. I have not chopped any wood. Here's my giant oak tree I haven't touched all year. That is procrastination, my friends. As a matter of fact, the piece of wood that you just saw me chop was the very first piece of wood I've chopped in 2022. Hey, big fat chicken, how you doing, buddy? You over there with your girls? What are you doing up there? Are you spying on me? And speaking of procrastination, one of the things that I've been really procrastinating on is these roosters and making that decision. I gotta be honest with you though, it's not really something that I like to deal with. You know, I like having the chickens around, like I mentioned before. I like having the roosters around. They're really good at protecting the girls. But some decisions are harder than others and that's just kind of sometimes how life has to be. So what we've ended up choosing to do is we've ended up choosing to get rid of all of our roosters except for one. The one rooster that we chose to keep is going to be the leghorn, uh, affectionately known as uh, foghorn. And another thing kind of worked out this week that made the decision a little bit easier. Our neighbors have a couple of chickens and they asked if we would want those and Sarah and I kind of talked about it and thought this would be a great opportunity to add a new breed of chicken into our group so that we're not doing too much uh, inbreeding. Um, so that decision is gonna basically mean that we're gonna have to get rid of three new barred rocks and unfortunately our five-year veteran affectionately known as Big Fat Chicken. Today kind of started off kind of rainy, but as it's gone on, it's gotten a little bit nicer. So I'd like to let Big Fat Chicken have one day. Tomorrow's supposed to be really, really nice. I'm gonna let him and all the girls out of the coop and they can run around and enjoy the day for his last day. I think he'll like that. Let's see if we got any eggs in here. Hey, look at that. All right, we got some eggs. Yeah, we got five good eggs there. And yep, this little guy here, that's a good sign though. That means some of our younger birds are starting to lay. It seems like that they'll, uh, they'll produce these smaller eggs for maybe about the first week, maybe two weeks, until they start kind of getting into the, the normal sized eggs. But it's actually kind of funny. You'll come out here and uh, open the thing up and there'll be eggs the size of robin eggs in there. And that's kind of a hoot. Hi, what are you doing? Your name is Pretzel. Say hi, Pretzel. You know, and the decision with Big Fat Chicken and his future came with a lot of discussion from Sarah and I. You know, we started noticing this year that he just wasn't exactly himself as far as his getting around and his ability to walk. He seemed like he's in a little bit of pain. We think maybe that that came from some frostbite earlier in his life, possibly. What do you think, Deuce? This is a busy place, isn't it? Chickens everywhere, cats everywhere. Where's Tula and Sadie? So other than making decisions with roosters, the other thing I got to do today is I have got to get them ducks out of that pool. It has gotten to the point where they have just outgrown the pool and it's time to move them out to the barn. The only issue with that is the barn's a little bit full. So we're going to have to do some shuffling around and it might be a little bit cramped for a couple of weeks, but uh, we'll get that sorted out as well. This is the inside chicken coop that I made. Basically made this little pathway through door here. It goes into the main coop. That way, anytime we want to have a little bit more room for the, the girls and the guys, we can open up this little doorway here and provide them with quite a bit extra coop space. The other nice thing is that uh, when we need to shuffle animals around like the ducks, I can just close that right back up. All sealed up. Time to go get a rake and clean this mess up. Then we'll get the ducks. Hey, look, guys, the big ducks came to see you. We got fresh food and fresh, dang it, I forgot the water. Yeah, there you go, get some water. That's what life's all about. It also seemed like there was hardly a day that went by that I didn't see him lose his footing on some sort of uneven ground and take a slip and fall. And we really didn't think that his quality of life was exactly where it was in the years previous, so. Hey, how's it going in there? 
Yeah, you're cute. Where's your friend? There you are. How's it going over there, buddy? An hour ago, it was pouring rain and all the chickens were standing out here. Now that it's nice, they're all inside the coop. I don't get it. What, now there's two of you out? What's going on? Get back inside the coop. One thing's for sure, you know, we have a lot of chickens and processing birds isn't really something that we think much of. We see it more like for the past five years, he's kind of been the commander in the coop. This is his barn and he's been the one in charge. So I think as he's gonna always hold a special place in our hearts, we figure that he deserves a special place on the farm. Where's Tula? Where's Tula at? Look at you, sitting all pretty. Yeah, you want something. I don't have anything. Oh, hi little barn birdies. Welcome to the world. Oh, there's Tula, hi Tula. Where the heck are you? This is looking pretty good. There's a lot of radishes out here, aren't there, Sadie? I think we better get a better look at it. Yeah, that's a lot better. Look how many radishes there are out there. There must be thousands, maybe even millions. Well, all this playing with the farm animals and cuddling with the kitties is just more procrastination on my part. I'm really not looking forward to tomorrow and what has to be done. You know, and I hate to admit it, but, you know, not all the farm animals are the same. We have tons of chickens, and I really like each and every one of them, but some of them are a lot more near and dear to your heart, and Big Fat Chicken just happens to be one of those. We got him the very first week that we moved here, and overall, he's been a pretty good rooster. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, just kind of how life goes. What do you say there, Big Fat Chicken? Who's a good boy? Yeah, you're a pretty good boy. I never did get any wood chopped. Well, I can do that tomorrow. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for us. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe. We got lots more content like this and a lot more coming in the future. Uh, don't miss it. Thanks. Have a great day.